activate. This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The question about touching truth touches on one of the greatest issues today, and that is, what is truth? Can anybody really know truth? Is there one truth for me and a different truth for you? Is Pilate's concept of truth just as good as Jesus' concept of truth? What is truth? And I'd like to give you really three quick answers as we wrap things up here. First of all, truth is something that can be known. Truth is something that can be known. Jesus said you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. How can we know what is truth? The answer is found in, the, in this very statement from Jesus that the truth will set you free. So here's one of the important questions that you have to ask yourself. Am I free? You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Okay, are you free? Well, are you? If not, there's something wrong with your truth. If you're not free, then you don't have truth. 1 John 3.18 says, Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. Jesus' prayer for you was John 17.17, 17, Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. The truth is found in the Word of God. Not the Word of the preacher, not the Word of a prophet, but the Word of God. The Word of God is true. It's reliable. It comes to us as the revelation of truth. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All Scripture is given by inspiration and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness. The Word of God is the revelation of truth. Sometimes the deceptions of Satan have a grain of truth in them to make them more believable, but the word of the Lord is truth through and through. So the key to understanding truth is the word of God, but it's also in understanding what the Holy Spirit is up to. John 16, 13, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. Jesus sent Holy Spirit to lead us into truth. He has inspired the Word of God to reveal truth to us. If we want the truth, it is available to us. Point number two, truth is as eternal as God Himself. Truth doesn't change. Truth was truth a hundred years ago, a million years ago. It is still truth today. Truth is as, ab as absolute as God Himself. It does not originate in man, it originates in God. He is the God of truth. Therefore, he is the source of truth. When people say that truth is relative and not absolute, they're misunderstanding the origin of truth. The origin of truth is God, and God is eternal, and he does not change. So to say that God, that truth is not relative is to say that God is not relative, and to say that God is not relative means that you don't know God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He's not just saying that he has some ideas about truth. He's saying that he is the revelation and personalization of truth. The difference between right and wrong is not found in what I think. The difference between right and wrong is not found in what I think. It's found in who God is. The difference between right and wrong is found in who God is. We have to be well grounded in this. Truth is not based on what others say, but on what God says. It doesn't matter how relevant you think Krishna or Muhammad or Stephen King or Oprah is. Truth is based on God and what God says. Which brings us to the third point. What is your source of truth? At this point, Pilate, having tossed away what Jesus is saying to him, tries to absolve his responsibility in having to deal with Jesus. Luke gives us this insight, uh, Luke 23, verses 4 through 7. Then Pilate said to the chief priests and crowds, I find no guilt in this man. But they were urgent, saying, He stirs up the people, teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee into this place. When Pilate heard this, he asked whether the man was a Galilean. And when he learned that he belonged to Herod's jurisdiction, he he said, oh, okay, let Herod deal with him. And Herod at the time was in Jerusalem. He wasn't 
willing to face the truth. His source of truth was not real. It wasn't valid. He wasn't willing to face up to the truth. And people look for ways to avoid the truth. And one of the most common ways is they just simply say it's not relevant. But another common way is just simply to say, well, it doesn't really apply to me. Go take Jesus somewhere else. This doesn't really apply to me. That's how people deal with truth in the world today. The question endures, what will you do with truth? And the first question to ask relevant to that is, what will you do with the truth that you know about Jesus? On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.